Yeah. Hey. Tobago updates. Good morning, Tobago on Tobago updates. Well, viewers, we just concluded our carnival right here in Tobago. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering how did it go on a safety level? So to give us a perspective and just give us some updates on what happened over the weekend, we have none other than Officer Joseph Jordan on set with us from the CTPS to get, um, give us a little roundup. So good morning and welcome to you, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Good morning to you. Good morning to Tobago Updates. Good morning to Trinidad and Tobago. Thanks for having me. Great. So um, did we have a safe carnival? Yes, definitely. We had an excellent safe carnival for Tobago, um, buying minor events. Um, we, I can start, we can go back to as far as Saturday. All right. So on Saturday, we would have had the Kiddies Carnival in Scarborough. And that obviously was incident free. And then we would have moved to Sunday in Roxborough District, where we would have had the Kiddies Carnival up there. And that would have been followed with the Juvies in the Roxborough, Scarborough, and Crown Point Districts. Right? So we would have had a, in the Crown Point District, we would have had our largest or, or the larger crowd yeah. out of the tree. And that was incident free. And um, we would have had two, well, two persons who were arrested. Yeah, in, for in, fighting. Uh, <laughs> one, no, actually, no. We had one, an incident where two females were arrested. Mm -hmm. One for assaulting another person that was in the early early morning of the juvie and the other person who was arrested for a prohibited weapon mainly a taser so that wow. was the only two incidents or two persons arrested and the only two notable incidents that would have happened in the juvie across tobago scarborough but they didn't have much of a crowd and then it would have been followed with roxborough which will be the next greater proportion and there were no incidents reported up there so we would have moved along to the monday afternoon into the evening into the afternoon and night mass um where well the crown point didn't have anything further for the carnival season and we would have gone to the roxborough district where we had our parade of the bands in the afternoon and the night mass as well as a mud a mud mass in the roxborough district and that turned out to be a pretty large um setting i think we had over 1500 persons participating up there yeah. and likewise no incidents the police was able to treat with it and it was an incident free um, activity up there. Um, Scarborough had its parade of the bands and it's also its night mass. Once again, safe, not, not enough significant to report. Um, so we come to our final day on Tuesday, Carnival Tuesday, where we would have had our cut, um, the juvie in Cuddler Hall, where yes. that was rather mammoth. <laughs> was right? With me. right? That was a, another large gathering, and persons would have enjoyed themselves, the masqueraders played themselves on the street, and most importantly, the police did not have much work to do, more than mm -hmm. to guide the persons to and from their various points. So we would have had an excellent carnival up to that point, and, and we would have concluded on Tuesday night with our mud band in particular in mm -hmm. Scarborough. That was huge. We, had, had, we have an estimated crowd of over 8,000 were participating in that activity. So considering even where the large, the larger crowds were, were seen, it must be considered, um, taken into consideration that there were no reported incidents as relates to, to the carnival events. However, um, we would have had an unfortunate fatal RT on Monday. Yes. Right? That was just after the, the juve at around 10, 15 a.m. along the Claude Noel Highway in the vicinity of the Moses um, Wrecking Services. Services. All right, where one person one male person at the age 33 would have lost his life, all right? Um, he was the sole occupant of that vehicle. And we would have also had an, another accident at corner of Milford Road in Scarborough where, where three persons were involved. The person ran into a, a I think it was a Tiantec pole. Those persons were hospitalized and don't think their injuries are, based on, last, on my last update, their injuries are not life-threatening. Yeah. And on... Tuesday again, we also had another RT where a vehicle ran off the road in the Goodwood area in the vicinity of the cemetery. That person would have would have been um, did not receive any significant injury. They were able to jump out of the vehicle. I think the vehicle went over a precipice. So thank God for that. So what we want to having said that, what we want to look at is that people need to observe the speed limits in Tobago and be very careful and vigilant while traversing 
our nation roads. We want to oh, I want to also ask mm. you though, how much did alcohol play a part in these accidents? Well, based on the, it is alleged. It is alleged at least the one where the incident where the that ran into the post, it might have been some altercation that took place in the car that might mm. have resulted in the accident. Um, the incident at Codewood, I believe, might have been as a result of some sort of um, oil on the roadway that caused the person to skid and lost control. The fatal, unfortunately, that was clearly as a result of speed because the person overtook a line of car proceeding west along the Claude Nobel I ran. Um, well, uh, we have to wait until the mechanical um, breakdown as to what would have happened to the vehicle if you, because he didn't collide with anybody. However, sometimes things do happen to cars, so the license department would have to give us uh, a diagnostic as to what would have transpired during, well, that resulted in the accident and the untimely and unfortunate death of that individual. So at the end of the day, speeding contributes mostly to, to accidents. Yes. Um, as I said, the persons, as you related to the alcohol, none of them, well, at the point in time, we can't say if alcohol played any significant part until further tests are done. So importantly, we need to be safe on the roadway, um, observe our road regulations so that we don't have these unfortunate things. Because when you look at the hour carnival for this um, period in Tobago, what you would have seen is very little incidents within the carnival activities. Certainly. And then outside of the ac ac um, activities, we would have had, an, uh, well, as I said, one fatal and a number of accidents. So it means that it's like we, 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 are, we are unable to strike a balance. Safety all I also want to ask you because um, we there was we had a restriction in place for glass bottles, yes. right? So glass bottles were not allowed um, at all for those 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 carnival days. How much did that influence the fact that there was a virtually safe carnival? Because we know in the past, normally during juvie or something, somebody gets upset, and then you just see bottles flying through the crowd and then people get injured, a lot of bystanders get injured. Um, so how effective was that right. restriction? All right, well, most importantly, what the, the uh, there was a regulation on legal notice, I think it is legal yes. notice number 50, that dealt with the prohibition of glass bottles and that took effect from 4 a.m. on Monday the 20th and that went up to right up until 12 midnight the 21st. So what that would have done is to totally exclude all glass bottles being um, paraded along the streets mm. during that period of time. Now, what, what, bars, what bars would have done, even though they had bottles, they would, they would have poured it out into cups. Right. So there were, there were limited amount of bottles on the street. That, that regulation even extended as far as being any person found 100 meters off a carnival event would have been prosecuted as it relates to to the to that offense. However, I myself being out there, I would have I saw a few persons with bottles in their hand, which I would have engaged. Some persons didn't know, so you know you asked them kindly to have it poured out. So it, it was not a challenge, even though those that had they complied, because not everybody is aware of everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so that um, aspect of the law proved to be quite significant and, yeah. in, uh, and and very effective in managing our carnival because we know. But the pelting is a very common thing oh, when, yes. when things go wrong. Oh so yes, had we, to duck quite a few so <laughs> in I, my I, time. Yeah, so I would, I would definitely, what I would want to do, I want to praise the public for having a safe carnival. Um, they work with the police and <laughs> quite <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, there was a partnership between the police or the, and the, um, the police, the soldiers, the patriots, um, of the country in making Trinidad and Tobago safe in yes. during this carnival period. Um, I want to thank our executive, our assistant commissioner, our senior soup, and all the officers that work during this carnival period in making Tobago carnival significantly safe. And we look forward to future carnival doing the same thing and even bettering what we have done this year. Great. And I mean, we also want to extend our 
thanks and appreciation for the police in making sure that we were safe because the police was definitely out and they were checking on things and yeah. whatnot. So I want to thank you so much You're welcome. for your work and um, hopefully we can be branding that. That can be part of the branding of our carnival to go forward. You know, that's safety. Safety, yeah. Safe, because you know safety is so important right here in Tobago. And that could be the brand for our carnival going forward. Um, come to Tobago and have a safe carnival. So thank you so much again, um, Officer Jordan, for being on with us and giving us that update. And viewers, don't go anywhere because we'll be back shortly with more. Hey. Tobago updates. Na, 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 na.